Hey everybody, Peter Brissett here with the monthly marketing message for you. This month what I want to talk about is this simple question. Do you own your domain? And I'm talking about your website domain. Do you own it? How do you know that you own your domain? The main question you have to answer is, is there a website where I can log in and have control over my domain. It's my account, I can access it. Someone else doesn't have the domain and have control of my domain, I have it. As a business owner, this is a critically important question that you must have answered for yourself and for your business. You must maintain, maintain control of your domain. <clears throat> now, how do you know where your domain is and how you get access to it. So there's a couple of ways that this works. The first thing that you can look at is, I'm gonna share my screen here, a website called whois.com. And I can come in here and put in my domain. And do a search. And it's gonna tell me who my registrar is. So what does registrar mean? Registrar is the, um, the site or the company that has the registration of your domain. Now that uh, is the one place where that's basically um, controlled. Everything about your domain is controlled through that, that company. Now in my case, the fast domain is actually a part of Bluehost. So when I come down here, um, you can see um, in more detail, the registrar server is Bluehost. So fast domain and Bluehost um, are kind of one and the same. <clears throat> now there's a difference between the registrar and the hosting. They're not the same thing. So when I have a domain name uh, that I own, uh, I have a registrar that, that is the, the main company that controls that. That might be on GoDaddy. That might be on Bluehost. That might be on any number of domain registrars that register the domain information. The second piece of that is your hosting. The hosting could be in completely different places. And, and hosting, all that hosting is, is where do the files for my website actually sit? Where's this computer, uh, this file server, where my files are actually sitting right now? So you can have your domain controlled on GoDaddy, let's say, but have your website hosted on Bluehost. So the files and everything are on Bluehost, but the main control of your domain and the ownership of your domain is in your GoDaddy account. So the main thing that you have to focus on is going, okay, can I log in somewhere like GoDaddy and see my domain? I can, I can renew my domain. I can change the settings on my domain. I can control uh, that domain uh, that way. Because here's the issue that comes up, and, and we've seen this come up for many different clients, where they decide they want to change something on their website or get a new website, and they've hired a new company to do that, a uh, company like ours. And they have to give access to hosting or give access to the domain. And suddenly, the person who had it before um, is not happy about that, and they're not giving you access. So the thing you have to remember is that you ultimately, as the business owner, you own that property. That's your property, the property of your business, your domain name and your website. And if anyone starts to tell you that it doesn't belong to you, it's not yours, that person needs to be fired immediately and you need to move it to where you have complete control of it and someone cannot say that or do that as a part of um, your domain or your website. So that's the, the main thing I wanted to point out today uh, in this month's marketing message. Uh, do you own your domain? Do you have control of your domain? Can you log in somewhere and get access uh, to that domain so that you can direct it where you need to direct it? Uh, and then where is it also hosted? How, and how do I get access to my hosting account? And again, do I have complete control 
of that hosting account if I so choose. Now you may hire some company to host it and they may provide a list of services and that's fine, but there should be a basic understanding that this belongs to you as the business owner, not to the other company. So I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, message this month. Please uh, like, comment, and share. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, we'd be glad to help you out, and we'll talk to you next month.